Well, hello guys from San Felipe. We're getting our day started here. Uh, we're able to hook up with Victor's dad and he's going to run us into town so we can drop off a big bag of laundry and then go grocery shopping. All set. I was also able to hook up with Victor Jr. this morning and he offered to take us on another tour. I'm not quite sure where it's going, but I believe he said something about giant cactuses and uh, some other spots I really didn't understand, but I trust him and uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> We have a lot of laundry to get done. And what name do you want your clothes? What name? Yeah. Ben Hamin? Ben Hamin. Tomorrow around 10 o'clock basically. Okay. Well that's a heck of a deal. That was 60 pesos, which is give or take three dollars to uh, have a load of laundry done and they use very large machines. So we might only be looking at six bucks to have somebody do all, all of our laundry. laundry. I'm seriously considering moving here. We can live like kings and it's beautiful weather and great food and what's not to love. So this is an entirely different part of San Felipe. You've been uh, seeing the Malacan, which is more of the tourist district in a lot of our videos. Um, I'm not sure what part of town this is, but it is something you haven't seen before in our videos. good it's all fruit it's like literally all natural mm. yum it's so good bye bye have a nice day happy take care year. happy new year well this place just caught our attention it's kind of like an outdoor flea market a lot of uh used goods the collection of walkers and crutches got the nittany lions there <laughs> what <laughs> you just ran out of nowhere was it a kitty Oh, hey. wow. You're adorable. Hi, puppy. Look at that little waggly tail. Need some shoes. Okay, I'm good. Okay. You? Um, I was good before we walked in. Places like this, I don't know why. Like, I'm not being snobby or anything. But they creep me out. Like, I think about the people that used to own the things, and it <clears throat> bothers me. I don't know why. Good to know. Am I crazy? No, like that sports coat right there. Uh -huh. This thing has a history. I know. It's had a life. And I, I feel, I feel that stuff. It bothers me. I'm gonna shut up now. Well, I get it. Uh, it's very similar to what we've talked about with the old RVs. Like you see these old rundown motorhomes, and you wonder, like, hey, 25, 35 years ago. That was somebody's loved motor home. They spent days, weeks, months, years traveling in this loved motor home and here it is just rotting and decaying. So I get it, I know where you're coming from. Time to go grocery shopping. What about a jalapeno for tonight's dinner? Do you need tomatoes? I learned this living in the Caribbean if you don't know it. The way you find a really ripe pineapple is if the leaves in the middle pop out really easily. This one looks good and it's not even a buck. Okay, we made one mistake. We went into the grocery store before getting lunch and once you kind of go get your milk and ice, you kind of want to head back to your refrigerator. So we just quit at the produce section and now we're going to jaywalk across the street to get to Mariscos Lupita. Andale, andale Rebecca. Vámonos! Stop talking to me like that. <laughs> Make me nervous. Hola. 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 Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Keep being good. Gracias. So far, in all of our uh, eatings out here, I have yet to uh, find a place that actually makes their own uh, tortilla chips. They all seem to be uh, commercially purchased, and there's a big difference between commercially purchased tortilla chips and ones that are like pretty much freshly fried every hour or so. Today's lunch has arrived. There's three fish tacos, and there's a little salsa bar, the commercial chips, and Beck got a shrimp cocktail. 
Okay, now where were we? So we just got some cheese. Um, Not quite sure what gracias. kind of cheese. Yeah. It's it looks already good. shredded. Should be good. All right, we're gonna get some good old fashioned crust. All of these juices and nectars are so good, guys. We have a pork tenderloin that we brought with us and we decided that we would try this salsa de chile colorado. About 11 bucks for some top shelf tequila? Yes, please. So it appears to be a pretty tight knit community. We keep running into the same people. And we just met Tom and Karen from BC, surprisingly, uh, here in the store and talked to them for about 10 minutes. Ran into Gary and them, it's in our campground. Ran into somebody that was looking to stay at our campground and they talked to us. So <laughs> yeah, it's a nice little community. Okay, let's see how long it takes to hail a taxi. Huh. Nope. He's got somebody. Busted, give me food, give me attention. <laughs> Sorry. You sweet, aren't you? Is she gonna help us hail a taxi? Okay, here comes the taxi on the other side of the street. Is it empty? Swing and a miss. Haha, <laughs> 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 we're in luck. Hola. you're curious about what we spent today well taco stands are usually cheaper, cheaper. they're about ten dollars a meal yeah so ten dollars for the two of us to eat lunch today the taxi back here was four dollars and then for groceries we spent 375 on the produce that you saw us buy ten dollars on the bottle of tequila and 17 18 dollars on the rest of the groceries so pretty darn good <laughs> it's pretty cheap to live here it really is so uh, you can live pretty pretty much like a king for not a lot of money. I did want to remind you guys that we are giving away the gift that I picked out yesterday. And I have to admit, it's really hard for me to give this away to you guys because I love it so much. And it'll be perfect for a bread or fruit bowl, whatever you want to use it for. But I hope you enjoy it. And Ben will put a question up here in just a second for you to answer and the first person to get it right We'll have this bowl sent to them. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our day living like locals. And we'll see you tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so we can keep those adventures coming your way.